Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is, I believe, episode four, right? Yeah. We did the sewers, we did the prison, we did the caves. Now we're on episode four, playing as the Huntress. And, um, oh man, we deal with these guys. Yeah, we definitely want to uh, increase our, our haste here. So this is what we've got going on here. Pretty good stuff. We've got a level, or plus five haste ring, so 200% increased haste. We've got a plus three scale armor, three to twenty damage protection, and a plus five stone gauntlet. This is a very fast weapon, ten to thirty damage. So it's uh, quite nice. Now we just want to. Uh, I want to upgrade the. Um, oh, okay. When you're fighting these guys, always stand in water because they will light you on fire. In our case, we're so fast that we can, you know, dance around them pretty quick and shoot them from various angles. Oh, another remove curse scroll, nice. I don't know if we're ever gonna have to remove any more curses. I think we found I think we found our forever armor. Um Uh okay, I don't know where he went, but We lost him. Got a strength potion there, let's drink that. And uh yeah, from this point forward we'll just be upgrading upgrading our, uh, our current stuff. I don't know if we're going to upgrade our uh, armor much. Um, as for the armor, let's inscribe it with the arcane stylus and see what we get. The glyph potential this glyph builds energy when struck, granting charge to the wearer's wands when it activates. Well, uh, I don't know about that. I want something that's going to help us glyph and flow. Ah, we can run faster through water, so this gives us increased speed yet again. So that's quite nice. I think we'll uh, we'll stick with that for now. Normally, I don't really care about that glyph because it's like, you know, whatever. But uh, since we're heavily emphasizing speed, um, yeah, it makes sense to use that. Uh, I'm gonna get my distance. See, I love that. I can just walk away and then. <laughs> Shoot him, yeah. Oh wow, there's a healing well there. Well, I don't know, maybe we'll find a use for that later. Right now it's not overly useful. Um, is there anything that we want to sell? Not really, and I don't think there's anything we want to buy, and we don't have money anyways, so. Never mind. All right, let's head down to the next floor. We're now officially on the 17th floor after we kill this idiot. This stupid idiot. Nice, a toxic gas potion. Toxic gas potions are really important for the, <clears throat> excuse me, Dwarven Metropolis boss, um, which you'll see later, but you should always keep that in mind. If you can, on your way up until this point, try and uh, reserve yourself one or two toxic gas potions, as well as flame potions, which we don't have but um, they make all the difference when uh, when fighting the uh, Dwarf King or whatever his name is. Boom. Uh, uh, an Ivory Potion, a potion that we've not yet identified. That is a Paralysis Potion. Dang it. Uh, okay, I guess we can... Whoops. I guess we can uh, take this guy out. We finally identified our, our wand. We're going to sell that armor. We don't need it. Frost... Da -da. Yeah, so you always want to fight those guys in the water. Oh, whoops. I do want to continue killing the uh, piranhas, even though we probably don't need the food. Um, but, I mean, we got a badge. Whoops. We got a badge for killing six last time, so I want to keep it going and see how many, how many piranhas we can kill, and maybe it'll give us another badge. Might as well. It's free food. Shooting fish in a barrel. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Boom. Give me that food. Alright. Uh, we could freeze those. I'd rather burn I'd rather burn them. We'll wait for like a, a flame trap or something. There. Two friggin' attacks on them. We're gonna start eating these small food rations as well. 
Oh man. Dude, I love the Huntress. She's awesome. Especially if you just emphasize speed. She's like crazy. I've never had like an easier time making it through a dungeon than right now. Yeah, so that just connects back there. Um, I'm gonna freeze you. Here's our first monk. These guys are a pain in the butt. Pain in the buttocks. Come on, there we go. Another health potion. We got a billion health potions. 16. <laughs> We're doing great in that regard. And another one of these guys. That's the third, third one of these guys. What do you have? A lucky stone gauntlet. Damn it. Kind of makes me wish that I wouldn't have acted so fast on this stone gauntlet, but this is our stone gauntlet regardless. I mean, I'll take it just to sell it. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. See, he didn't even see us until we got right up to him because of our speed and we utilized the uh, grass there. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's a plus one. Dang, that would have been... That would have been nice. I would have... Wish I would have used the black... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We almost died. Health potion. Health potion. Health potion. That was close. Well... Oh my frig... Okay. Let's drop all these. Man. These traps are really trying to kill us here. This is just crazy. Let's get over to the water. Oi. Another remove curse scroll. Mirror image scroll, also a very good scroll. Oh, look who's running through the water faster than you. Haha. <laughs> Try and catch me in the water. I'm like a friggin' piranha. You can't. You can't do it. Haha. <laughs> that must be so frustrating for the enemy. Oh, another one? You gonna come get me? Come through the water. Oh, oh. Come on. I believe in you. Oopsies. Up. Oh, there you go. Alright. Another one of these guys. Here, let's freeze this one. Oh, another big long stretch of water. Come and get me. Come and get me. No, it's not even fair now. There you go. Okay. Got a food ration, and we are done with this floor. Um. I don't know. I might. Yeah, let's. Okay, let's go back for a minute and sell some of this stuff. And, um. Excuse me. No, you don't. Alright. Yeah, we'll sell some of this stuff and, uh, buy some potentially new stuff. I'm now open to, uh, purchasing, like, other items that I normally would not purchase. Oh, and we have that little uh, well there that we can use to restore ourselves. Might as well do that. Da -da. What you gonna do, buddy? Come on. <laughs> Did we not find... Okay, here, let's... I want to upgrade our uh, haste ring. Upgrade the old haste ring a little bit. <clears throat> so here you go. You can have that and this. And, um, hmm, augmentation stone, hmm, and some sand, we only have 500 gold, that costs 200 each for the sand, that upgrades our uh, hourglass, and uh, we can further increase the speed of our weapon with the augmentation stone so boom let's go for speed more speed it's gonna decrease our damage but we can keep upgrading it and it'll be augmented for more and more speed okay let's go use this just to give ourselves a refresh since we probably won't be back here
And uh, now we're heading down to the 18th floor. The 18th floor. And we'll be at the boss in no time. In no time flat. Another toxic gas potion. Great. It's perfect. Man, things are just going so well. I don't want to jinx myself. I feel too fortunate. Alright, liquid flame. Go. Do we have any things to cook now? Alright, burn. Open. Upgrade scroll. Alright, so let's upgrade our power fist. 8 to 23 damage now. I don't know if we should upgrade that or if we should keep going with our, uh, our what's it called there? Our haste ring. I mean, geez, look at that. We got four hits on him. Da -da. Hello. I'm just gonna friggin' beat the living crap out of you. Okay. Just want to keep upgrading stuff. Oh, more food. More free food. Yeah, like I said, I want to see how many piranhas we actually can kill. It'd be interesting to like do that. I know you get a badge for six, so we've gotten that. I wonder if there's a badge for more. Okay. There. Food. Got a hammer. I always hate that, though, when, when you find... When you decide to, you know, upgrade a weapon. And then you you find that weapon again. But it already has, like, one upgrade in it. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but... Like, damn it. It could have been one upgrade higher. Liquid flame. Da, da, da. Oh, you weakened me, you bastard. Uh, they they caused weakening to you with their long range, uh, which pretty much just uh, lowers your efficiency with your weapons and armor. So, it sucks. Uh, it sucks! Oh, there's a door here. Time to get your face beaten in. Come here. There you go. God, I love that. Love that, just like three punches in a row. Just tch, tch, tch. And slowing him down with the frost wand and messing him up with the bow and then beating the crap out of him with our super fast weapon. It's a pretty good, pretty deadly combo, I have to say. Okay, so this will take us back to the locked door. What? Oh, there must be one of those floors above that we forgot to jump down through. Dang it. Again, wasting time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where is it? It's right over here. Down we go. Please don't die. Yeah, we're gonna use a health potion here. Health potion. Drink it. Horn of Plenty, we won't need that. That pretty much, like, generates food for you. Sometimes you are low on food in this game. You know, sometimes it is a problem. And look, because of our sniper ability, we can snipe this guy from so... Whoops. From so crazy far away. Um, and you know what? I'm realizing our hourglass is going to be more useful than the uh, disintegration wand. So, we're now on the 19th floor. The next floor down is the boss. So let's clear this out and uh, hmm. Here, let's pick him off. Get him to come over here. Does anyone want to come through that door? There you go. Oh man. 
Okay, so we should be able to just run up to this guy without waking him up because we're so fast. And we're just plowing through people. Plowing through suckers. Okay. And... Oh, there's the, uh, the flame guy. Finish him real quick. Boom, look at that. Isn't that crazy? I've never done a speed warrior. Or a speed, you know, anything really. But, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of debating now, like, should we increase the... the power of our haste ring? Or should we increase the attack of our, uh... Of our power glove. Okay, these wraiths are going to be kind of a pain, so we'll just use our wand to get rid of them. And here's the quest giver. Kill eight monks. So those are the guys in uh, red. Let's go get all this. Oh, and there's an enchantment stone. Nice. I've barely seen that. Barely, barely seen that. Uh, here, so our disintegration wand will be good here. Burm, get rid of them. And uh, what else? We have that electricity wand as well, so let's give them a zap with that. Give them another zap with that. Get out of here. Okay, so we need to go kill eight monks. So just remember the 19th floor, just above the, uh, the entrance is where the guy is, because he's a little bit hard to see. You know, when you're trying to remember where he is and look for him and stuff. So where'd you go? Boom. There's one. Man, I love this. This is awesome. And... Oh, he got a, he got a solid hit on us there. It's been a while since we took a, a nice hit like that. Uh, okay, let's start eating some food rations. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking... Hmm, about haste ring. They're both kind of equal, you know? Let's just keep them equal. How about that? 6-6. Six, six. So the next one we'll do on the haste ring. There it is. So let's do that on the haste ring. Does this go anywhere? What is our current haste, by the way? 329%. Okay, we got three of those tokens. And are we finished? I really want to get that... Um, he, the, he gives you a ring once he finishes quest. I mean... I mean, I'm just... I'm kind of curious sucks that we had to find him last minute like this, just like the blacksmith as well. Screw it. Let's go fight the boss. Okay. Let's go fight the boss. Uh, we don't have to complete that quest. Okay, so here is the boss. This is the uh, Dwarf King. And my strategy... Look, he... <laughs> is he'll hang around usually right about here. So we're going to throw that there. Um, as well, we're going to light him on fire. And we're just going to keep blasting him with arrows now. He should be pretty easy with everything that we're doing to him. He's already half dead. We're going to keep summoning these skeletons. No, keep keep attacking the dwarf king. Okay. Wait. This is what we're gonna do. Freeze time. Ba 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 ba.
Uh, let's light him on fire. There you go. You're done, buddy. You're gonna burn to death. Boom. There you go. There you go. Okay, we've got the key and this armor kit that we can use on our armor. Bong. There. Spectral blades. I'm not sure what that does exactly. Um, but yeah, now we have our official official armor here. And uh, let's use this uh, enchantment stone on our fist. Oh, dang, we got the unstable enchantment, so not the best enchantment in the world, but it's an enchantment. So we're pretty damn powerful now. We are pretty damn powerful. So we're heading down to the next and final area, which is the Demon Halls. Oh, no final shop. That sucks. Sometimes there's like a final shop there. So, yep, yeah, we're not going to go any further here. Um, thanks for watching. Next episode, we'll start in the demon halls and uh yeah again thanks for watching like comment subscribe and see you on the next episode all right bye